Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to start talking about the table method to be able to solve optimization problems. Alright, so this is an alternative to graphing so that you don't have to graph them anymore. All right, so before we can do that, we need to talk about I systems and E systems. All right, so an I system just means that it's a system of inequalities. Alright, so I for inequality. That's the same as what we've been doing before. So just the I in inequality. All right, same thing as whenever we're doing the optimization problems, the graphing. An E system is a system of equations. All right, so that's like the stuff that we did back in test two. All right, just systems of equations. Now, systems of equations are much easier to deal with than systems of inequalities. Right? Because remember, if we had a system of equations, then we already know how to do a bunch of stuff with system of equations. We wouldn't have to learn all new things, right? So a big part of this is going to be turning systems of inequalities into a system of equations. Here's how we do that. So an inequality, like less than or equal to 20, for example, just means that if you have a rope, say, that is 20 feet long, right? Less than or equal to 20 means that whenever you add up our two variables, and they can be multiplied by numbers, let's say this is x1 and x2. It means there's going to be a gap, right? Now we don't know what size that gap is, so it could be like that with a fairly small gap, or x1 and x2 could be really small, and it could be a really, really large gap. We have no idea. All we know is that whenever you add up x1 and x2, or 7x1 and 9x2, that it has to be less than or equal to 20, or whatever number is on the right side. So if we want it equal to 20, then we just need to fill in that gap. All right? Since we don't know what number to fill it in with, we're just going to give it a variable that variable is called a slack variable. All right, and we denote slack variables with s. All right? And again, just like the x's where we have x1 and x2, this s is going to have a little one at the bottom just denoting that this is the first slack variable in our system. All right. And by the way, just in case we haven't talked about x1 and x2 yet, you can think of x2 as just y. It's just easier whenever you get more and more variables to just put numbers with them rather than trying to say, all right, we have x, y, z, uh, now let's go backwards to w, then what comes next. If we just have numbers, then we can add as many variables as we want, be x1, x2, x3, and so on, nice and easy. So don't be freaked out by the x2. It just means the second variable, it's basically interchangeable with y. All right, so all of that said, here's what we actually do to convert these systems into systems of equations. All right, we're going to add those slack variables. So I'm going to take this first inequality up here. And my first equation is going to be 7x1 plus 9x2 plus s1 is less than or equal to 20. All right, so that's just us filling in the gap. We had this much, the S1 was the gap, I'm sorry, I said less than or equal to 20 is equal to 20, because it's supposed to be a system of equations. 
So we added back in that gap, and now it's actually equal to 20. All right, it's no longer possible to be less than because we specifically filled in the gap. All right, for equation two, we're gonna do the same thing. 3x1 plus 6x2, except this time, the gap might not be the same because it's a different inequality. So when we add a slack variable, we're just gonna call this S2, and that is equal to 12. All right, so S1 and S2 are called the slack variables. They're just filling in the gap. That way we can make it equal. All right, now here's the thing though. This gap right here, if we're filling it in, that's like a distance, right? We're filling in a distance of this number line. And one thing about distances is they have to be positive, right? You can't have negative 20 feet, right? So to make sure that we don't accidentally put a negative distance, we're gonna add the slack variables to this last equation down here. So that last one becomes x1, x2, s1, s2, all greater than or equal to zero. All right, all four of these variables now go there and they're all greater than or equal to zero because we can't have those negative distances. All right, let's try another one. So example two, we're just gonna convert this I system into an E system as well. So this time we have one, two, three inequalities. So we're just gonna go one by one and add in the slack variables. So we have 4x1 plus 2x2 plus s1 equals 20. All right, next up for the second one, we have 6x1 plus x2 plus s2, because we're in the second equation now, have to have a different slack variable, equals 12. Then we have a third equation, so 2x1 plus 5x2 plus, we've already used slack variables one and two, so now we move on to using S3 for our third slack variable. That equals 12. Now all of our normal variables and all of our slack variables have to be greater than or equal to zero. So for that last equation, we're just gonna add in our slack variables. So we got x1, x2, s1, s2, s3, all greater than or equal to zero. All right, make sure that you don't forget this part because that part's gonna be really important for the table. All right, the fact that none of them can be negative is gonna be one of the most important things of the table that's gonna really save you a lot of time and have you not do a ton of work that you would have had to do otherwise. All right, so I don't wanna make this video too long, so I'm gonna end this one kind of short. It's just a very basics of how to convert a system of inequalities to a system of equations. And in the next video, we will actually start doing the table method. All right, and I will see you in that video.